I'm Scott Roberts, um, and I have this company called Explore Scientific. What we do is we make telescopes and microscopes and binoculars, but for me those are all gear for exploration. And that's really my passion, is exploring. And for me, I love looking at the stars. We go coast to coast. When I say we, my dear friend Greg Bragg and I, we travel to some super dark skies. All of your problems seem to shrink and disappear looking through telescopes at galaxies that are millions of light years away. Doing that out on the road and seeing these amazing places and experiencing the skies the way that we do is something I can't imagine many other things being better. We're constantly told, you know, that you guys are living the life, you're living the dream. I think I inherited this desire to travel from my mother by a lot of people's accounts. My mother was kind of a nomadic gypsy. She always wanted to move. She was happiest when she was behind the wheel. And as a child, we did these immense coast-to-coast -coast road trips. There was always some new adventure on the horizon. The reason why I mention my mom is because when I first got the trailer, I spent a night in it, and I was looking at the curved walls, and it just felt so cozy. And that made me reflect on my mom, and it reminded me of all the trips that we took. That led me to name my Airstream the Barber Jean. This is a 50-year-old trailer. Part of the reason why I was attracted to the Airstream is the curved shape of it, the aluminum, and it has style. If you look around my trailer, you'll notice that I had done some custom work to it. I kept all the round curves and I tried to bring some of the outside of the Airstream on the inside. So that's the reason why you'll see a lot of aluminum, you'll see rivets everywhere, because I just love that look of what an Airstream is. This Airstream is set up to be low drain on the batteries because I've got red LEDs. And this protects our night vision when we get out there to observe the galaxies and the nebula. Uh, inside the Airstream, I've got five telescopes. Here's a, here's a four and a half inch. These are just common pa packing blankets, but uh, they make the perfect equipment wrap. The next telescope I have here is a, uh, a six inch Maxutov. And this is, this is just a beautiful telescope. But you can see the really, the key feature here is that it's compact. I've got two other small refractors that you can see here. And even a small refractor, you get under really super dark skies and you'll be amazing what you can see as far as nebulosity and uh, even a few galaxies with even something this small. I just keep pulling out telescopes. <laughs> This kind of cabinetry is really kind of standard on all Airstreams. Although I redid my Airstream, I kept the, the type of cabinets uh, the same. And it's on both sides of my Airstream. And down below, the heavy stuff. We have tripods and counterweights. So this is one. So we use bigger of course, bigger tripods for heavier telescopes. But I've got a lot of equipment in this trailer, yet I've got space for my personal effects, uh, the things I need in the bathroom or in the bathroom. I've got dishes up here in the cabinets, and I've got my personal stuff up along these cabinets as well. So there's three tripods, here's a fourth. The packing blankets just fold up, and I put them away, get them out of the way. You're traveling a lot, uh, you've been on the road maybe eight or ten hours, you're hot, you want to take a shower, uh, you want to lay down and relax and everything. But I'll tell you, you know, being in the Airstream is very peaceful. But uh, right now I'm a, <laughs> I'm a little hot here, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn on the AC and cool down for a little bit before we get started for our night of observing. So here we are, we're out under the night sky and I've got my telescope set up so when people get here uh, to observe tonight they'll have the chance to look through everything from a small 50 millimeter scope going all the way up to a massive 12 inch telescope and all of these things fit inside my Airstream. One of the things I want to get across to you is that you don't have to have a lot of money to get into this hobby. 
uh, if you're already out there with your RV or your trailer, dig out that old telescope that maybe you had up in the attic or in the garage somewhere and get out under the night sky when you go camping because you can use telescopes like one of these simple telescopes, which is, uh, it has a, what's called an alt as mount. If you come to a mount like this one, this is called an equatorial mount. It's got a motor. Actually, this one has a computer and it can not only follow the stars in the sky, but it can go and find objects for you. These other telescopes here are small, simple telescopes, small refractors. But I've used both of these telescopes to observe galaxies, nebula, planets. So it is possible even with the, these smaller instruments and they're very modestly priced. And this is the Dobsonian. And the Dobsonian telescope, uh, you saw me pull all the parts out of my Airstream, but it's a very, very portable telescope, but it has a massively large 12 inch mirror. If you don't buy a telescope, you may already have one in your attic, you may have one in your garage. You should try to find one of these things because what you can explore at night is amazing. All of us that use RVs and trailers, we go out to state parks, we go to national parks. When I'm out observing with friends and I start to tell them about how fast our solar system is going around the center of our Milky Way galaxy and how fast the galaxy is moving towards the Andromeda galaxy, you realize that you're traveling through space at unbelievable speeds. And I think that all those perspectives just lend an amazing experience. And it's just, it's set me on a path of adventure and exploration that's going on to this very day and now probably carried on for the rest of my life.